I am on fire! Oh... This is it! This is it! This is the kill load with my very first of the pottery petitniks, and um, it's still too warm. But um, it's very early. But if um, you have a pair of these, okay, I'm not a raccoon potter. I don't get into that kind of thing. But um, if you have a pair of glazing tongs, you can take these, open the kiln, not too hot. You can take it and reach in and get a peek, okay, at one of your pots before you get into the kiln opening. This is, okay, this is my very first of the Slovenian pottery petitniks. This is what they use, this is what I will use. This is what's used traditionally to bake the nut roll in the pizza. Okay, we will let that cool down a bit and then wait till you see what's in the kiln today. Yeah, what's in the kiln today, June 2023? It is killing me. Look at this wasted space. I've got to make some low filler stuff because even my shots were too tall to fit in the kiln. And I put the petit stick back in so you could see the placement of the top of it. The kiln, this is Rooster Hill Pottery. Okay, there's one of my rooster plates, Kohut being rooster in a number of Central European languages, but unfortunately not in Slovenian. I've been doing the new slip trailing. Okay, it's coming out quite well. Very fun to do. And the tulips. Okay, something from Pennsylvania slipware. Something you see in English slipware. Okay, the Pennsylvania brought here from the Germans so prevalent throughout that bit of world and the tulips I'm seeing just as prevalent and I'll have to get it on my pottery um, in the Slovenian pottery and the squiggles however their squiggle okay the Slovenian squiggle is smaller and I'm attempting to make it smaller but I have a little way to go so on this is the very first one I'm seeing glazed Oh, uh, this is something very exciting for me to put my stamp. Okay, we've got the date and signature. I've decided to number these. This is number number five. So the 15 that I'm making for Slovene Fest will either be a lifetime supply or the start of something big. So I want to know how many of these I do how big I get at being the Slovenian American potter. And another, since it is a show coming up, we I did a small batch again of the face mugs. So after looking into so many different cultures, following these back to their African roots, and I tried to get a salt pig in here, um, to uh, say looking into Scottish and Northern England pottery um, okay how exciting this is to look into something from my own culture and wouldn't we all I put this in here just to may say this wouldn't we all just like to be t-ball artists and okay that is a real swirl on the bottom not one that I put in there so that you could say, look what the potter did. That is a real swirl, not a contrived one. But um, this is, okay, the slip trailing I used to do, it was banded white, and then the black rings put on there, and then swiped through with a rib. And wouldn't I just love to be, okay, a t-ball artist. But how many, unfortunately, do the world need and can the world support? So, I am very excited, okay, to, although I'd like to go this way, look into something, 
okay from my own <laughs> culture, or at least a quarter of it. Okay, and a half shelf here, and, um, 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 oh, 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 I, I don't like it. This is a glaze of my own that I kind of just want to use up and get rid of. Um, it, the slip is showing through, but many of the Slovenian pots I saw were just very simple glazed in, in a, a orangey, I think that it actually was terracotta, so it was cheap, and some of them actually looked like cheap terracotta or tourist pieces, or something that uh, folk art pieces that were trying to revive from the past and, and get it made again, since this was almost lost after uh, World War I when they went to enamelware, so just like most of the world. Fortunately, a few potters kept it going, and now it seems to have been discovered by a younger set and a second generation. Um, uh, I think a friend's Kremzar's daughter now stepping in, and even a younger potter. And I did see, when I looked these up online, much bigger than these first ones I saw, at um, listed at 100 euros. So I think that was about $114. But... Um, Okay, and you know what? Oh, look at that. Look at the slip down in the bottom. Beautiful! Okay, the dots, very prevalent in the decorated Slovenian pieces. Uh, maybe in the next video, on the next size up, I've done the next size up, and I still have a next size up on these to do, um, I will demo the decorating bit, or how I did it. But who would have thought that altering a pot could be done in this way? I was grown up with the um, um, Peter Volkus <laughs> altering methods for, you know, altering pots, or the um, Warren Mackenzie altering pots methods. So this is really something for me to discover. Okay, let's get further down in here. And there still are more of the pizza, the nut roll pans down in the bottom. I, I do my videos in series that a pot doesn't just happen. And this was um, the, the salad bowls or plates and the slip trailing. You know, this I can't wait to bring to my pies. I can't wait to bring that to my pies. That um, um, and, and just banding the black slip on here. This is what I did with the tea bowl. Um, over a white slip and then just swipe through it with the rib, the one we saw on the top shelf. And, you know, I'm glad this looks better clay. Ow, ow, ow! I am rushing this one along. Um, the, his face is a little odd because um, he maybe looks like he's upside down, but that's his mouth on the bottom. But um, the um, glazing, okay, calmed this down a bit. It um, didn't look um, quite right when it was uh, bisked or just made, but um, the glazing helped to calm it down a bit. Okay, you know, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> and the shots making it a little less wasteful with the space on this next shelf down. My potter's life's been leading to the Petitnik. Um, I've been doing the ring baking bowls for a good long time. In fact, an image search for the Petitchnik, I actually spotted the tag for one of my videos for the pottery. Okay, I don't know, I may have called it bunt, but there's, uh, don't technically, that's a shaped bowl, which I guess the Petitchnik is. Um, I don't like that green glaze on the specked clay, the lighter body, but I'm using it because I'm getting a little low. Okay, with my own, oh, and I don't like when I overlap the wavy, you know, it's a trick to watch ahead and know when to lift so that you don't do that. But this was an under part. This is, maybe I need a mirror. <laughs> I've never thrown with a mirror. So, so I could see when it was coming. Um, okay, this is another story of bean crock. You know, lids can be, okay, a big problem. Um, <laughs> okay, um, beginner, advanced, lids can be a problem. Lids can be a problem. Oh, okay, and this is, I've been taking these guys out of the kiln really fast, but this is the black clay. Um, there's a time when you want to use it. Um, incised lines, a thin glaze, 
um, these. I'm quite pleased with these. Um, this is maybe why I have, in the past few kill loads, okay, went past the little shots. But these are going to be grow. Oh, whoa! Oh, you know what? Oh, this one I see. Yeah, I can see light through there. I I was working late at night, and I wanted to fill the empty spots in the kiln, so I dropped a board. But this one is glazed through. So finally, I have one I can call <laughs> with a crack, glazed shut, I can call my own. But um, no, important to the shows because um, people buy multiples of them. So always something to have a lot of around. So Slovenian Americans, big on polkas, <laughs> big on alcohol to excess, starting with breakfast. That can't be good. Um, oh, um, good with money, that's a story I need to tell you. Um, but will they go for the petitsnik? They're big on making the pizza. Uh, they're big on food, so my pies should do good at this show. My life as a potter has been leading to the petitsnik, the fluted edge. Okay, or a variation of the process in it. And you know, here's something. Back to that top shelf. Wait till I bring this to my pie plates. Okay, it is still hot down in the bottom. It's still hot down in the bottom. <gasps> oh, and I am on fire! <laughs> Oh, this one, this one, this one I think is mine. This one is mine. I can't wait to use one of these. I can't wait to make the pizza again. Um, again, though, my life as a potter here with the wavy bowl. Um, the, you know, a technique that varies um, in a way over into the pizznik. Um um, my life as a potter just leading up to okay making these things okay and this is the snow on brick this glaze is the one I have trouble with um, occasionally the pinholes and the bubbles but it is clean oh wow you know the black slip and the design is not showing through well but I like it I'm happy I'm pleased it's a little thick that I have problems too getting a thickness of a glaze right that um, um, a hydrometer just doesn't do the job different clay bodies absorb different amounts different thicknesses of the clay absorb different amounts so humidity in the air makes them absorb different amounts if only <laughs> okay we could get it right but but um, you know if this had no decoration on it the altered form of the bowl is really not something to hide with a lot of decoration but I will in the next video I want to get more involved with that despite what I just said and you know this was the first one here that I made this is the first one that I made um, and this was before I didn't it took me about three or four tries of making one watching um, videos of the Slovenian potters doing them to see exactly what the moves were they were making and this one is just more like the fluted edge I put on my pies each of the potters I did see videos of had pretty much their own style for doing this so I'm kinda now focusing in on what I like and here we go um, back to the one okay that for me was just on far. So no African or Japanese, but one quarter Slovenian. And there was a quarter Czech. Now technically half Austrian. But the one grandfather claimed for his family Russian, which I think meant Russian Orthodox Church. The other one claimed nothing. 
so the birth certificates don't mean a thing. But I am sure at Slovene Fest, if they don't go for the national dish, and the national dish that it, the national dish was baked in, they will love my shots. Okay, the skis and snowboard over my shoulders. Okay, another, another national heritage. Um, I am not done with this. I'm not, I'm far from done with this. There are other um, specific Slovenian pots I want to try to make. Um, um, I, I, I want to scale this up size-wise and with the decorative uh, thing. Um, I, um, I, I found videos um, with about maybe five different Slovenian potters. Um, 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 a few of the ones who managed to keep it from being lost, um, um, a second generation, and a young person taking it in new directions. Um, each of them, at a certain point, the camera caught each of them. And they gave a look to the camera that this was not just a pot. Stop back and see what happens in the studio next week.